Well, now at six, maybe you noticed it. Pharmacies are facing staff shortages, and that's forcing some CVSs and Walgreens to have to cut hours. WBZ's Tiffany Chan explains why there are fewer workers and what customers are afraid of now. There's no shortage of patients, just not enough pharmacists to do the job, forcing some major drugstore chains like CVS to begin adjusting their hours beginning in March. So this medicine, yeah, you know, you have to take it with food, or in the mouth. There's no denying how important pharmacists are in every community, but a shortage in staff has forced the biggest drugstore chains like CVS, Walgreens, and Walmart to shorten their hours. Well, labor seems to be a problem everywhere. I mean, I. Well, I guess I wouldn't single Walgreens and CVS out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's like that everywhere. Peggy Campbell visits the CVS pharmacy in Cambridge weekly and says shorter hours could mean even longer lines when the counter is open. It's going to be hard. It's going to be very difficult for people. Fewer people are going into the profession, says Massachusetts Pharmacists Association President Saad Dino. The number one reason burnout. The vaccines have, it's essential that we did it, that just. Exacerbated the burnout because now not only do we have to fill prescriptions and answer phone calls and, and, and counsel patients and talk to physicians and doctors and practitioners, now we have to take time out of our busy schedule and add that additional aspect. The long hours and added responsibilities at times without a break. While Walmart says they'll close their pharmacies at 7 p.m. instead of 9, CVS locations will make adjustments beginning in March based on a store's peak hours. There's an expectation that we as a pharmacy, pharmacist, are accessible to our communities and our customers and staff beyond the 9 to 5 peak hours. U.S. Labor Secretary Marty Walsh says the country and industry need to reduce the burnout among pharmacists. And I think that we have to start thinking, rethinking about the way that we invest in, in work, work development for people and working with companies. While longer breaks is one idea, Dino says it's not the ultimate solution. We are dealing with medicine. We are dealing with patient, patients' health, providing services. We, we, need those, we need the staff to have that break. To make sure you get your prescription medicine on time, pharmacists are recommending putting in those requests 24 to 48 hours in advance so their staff have enough time to fulfill it. From Boston, I'm Tiffany Chan, WBZ News.